let's uh, have a look at a basic note receivable. So for many students, this is going to be strictly a review, and you know this really well. However, if it's been a while since you've taken Introduction to Financial Accounting, this may be worthwhile for you. So this is a basic note, and what we're going to do is uh, get a note receivable that spans two fiscal periods so that we're going to have to accrue interest on that note, and then we'll just accept payment for that note and we'll go through the process of calculating interest and doing our adjusting entries and receiving payment. So here's the basic note that we're going to be looking at. And you'll see that it is an October 31 note for three months. And our year end is going to be December 31. So that means the due date would be three months from October 31 or January 31. So we are going to have to do and adjusting journal entry. So it's a $15,000 note and the interest is 12% per year. So interest is always expressed as a yearly rate so we're going to have to calculate both interest for the full three months and interest for the two months that are from October 31 to December 31 to accrue interest. Now in some instances we would count the number of days and if we counted days we would go from October 31 to December 31. Do not count October 31. Do count December 31. So with 30 days in November and 31 in December 1, sorry in December, we would be looking at 61 days of interest accrual out of 365. But for simplicity right now we're just going to calculate the interest for the full note and then look at what two months looks like. Okay, So let's first um, do our journal entry for the note receivable and if you weren't quite sure what this note was for, if you back up a little bit to that other screen you'll see that uh, someone had paid off an overdue accounts receivable by signing a note. So here is our journal entry to accept the note receivable. Now let's calculate interest. So we're going to do $15,000 and we're going to multiply by our 12% interest rate and then we're going to multiply by 3 months out of 12. Now we're doing this to get the interest for the full note. And if we do this, I just remember this number, it's $450. Okay, So that's the interest for the full note. So we're going to receive $15,000 $450 when the note matures. But let's look at um, the interest calculation for just the two months. So we're going to go 15,000 times 12% times two months out of 12. And of course, that is going to be $300. Okay. Now, I love 12%, right? It's a percent a month. You sort of don't need a calculator to do this note, but that's okay. So we take the 450 as the full mature, the full amount of interest. 300 is our accrual, so we're actually earning 150 in the month of January. So what we need to do is we need to do an interest accrual for the $300. So let's look at our December 31 adjusting journal entry. So here is our interest receivable debit and here is our interest revenue credit and here's the calculation that we used. Now just recall that every adjusting entry involves one balance sheet account which is this one and one income state account, uh, statement account which is this one. Adjusting journal entries never have cash. So this interest revenue account is going to be closed to retained earnings at the end of the year, but our interest receivable, the balance sheet account, will still be there January 1, and we will need to essentially pay that off when our uh, customer pays us. So the next journal entry for this note is going to be on January 31, and this is to actually receive the payment. So recall that the full amount of the note is going to be 
the repayment of the $15,000 principal plus payment of the 450 interest. So there's our cash debit. We have an interest receivable account outstanding from December 31. So we credit that and that will give it a balance of zero. And then of course the remaining interest that we earn in January is $150. So those three journal entries altogether are accounting for a note receivable with an interest accrual. So not too bad. I hope that was an easy review for you.